I've always loved Maggie Taylor's work. She was probably the first grand master of using Photoshop, which in this day and age has now become a truly legitimate art form. She will start with a mid-1800s photograph daguerreotype, and then you add to it. And sometimes you put something in there that doesn't belong, and the next day you take it out. Sometimes you put something in that you're very fond of. I think it's like creating art blindfold. When Photoshop was something brand new, the people who developed Photoshop, they went to Jerry Ulsman and said, look, you're the master of composite photography. Here's a tool that will let you do anything. And he said, well, what I'd like to do is have my eight enlargers in the dark room and bins of developer and stop bath. So thank you very much, but I have no interest in it. And Maggie Taylor said, I do. The point is, when you put ink on paper and you have something to say, the pictures come out that resonate. You make connections with them that you might not expect. You put two things together and all of a sudden it creates a third thing that somehow is birthed out of these other random coincidences. Like many artists, she wasn't big on explaining her work. She wants you to look at the pictures. She does very small editions. They are respected all over the world as the best of the craft. I am just so grateful that we have a lot of people here to see it. Please eat all the food, talk to each other, and just thank you for coming. Please come back. Woo!